hello everyone in today's video we will be taking the previous year question for physics optional upsc csc exam so here's the question 4 degree celsius temperature the density of water is found to be maximum as we all know at 4 degree celsius density is maximum so here in this question we have to prove that the heat capacity at constant pressure is equal to heat capacity at constant volume at 4 degree celsius temperature so we have to prove this so let's start with our solution part so let's start with our general relation between cp and cv so we have to find the let's find the general relation relation between cp and cv so what is cp cp is del q by del t at constant pressure and cv is del q by del t at constant volume so we can rewrite this as t ds by dt at constant volume so this we will take as equation number 1 so let's assume s as a function of t temperature and volume so we can write this the exact differential for entropy can be written as del s by del t at constant volume dt plus del s so we have to just write the ds in the form of differential partial differentials of both the parameters t and v and dv so here is the equation number 2 so as we know cp is del q by del t so we can take cp is equal to del q by del t at constant pressure we can rewrite it as as tds del t at constant pressure so this is our equation number 3 so we just have to find del s by del t at constant pressure so we have to take the differentiation of equation 2 with respect to temperature at constant pressure so so we have to write the del s by del t at constant pressure so we know we can write ds as del s by del t at constant volume dt plus del s by del v at constant temperature dv and the so so we have to differentiate this with respect to temperature at constant pressure so del s by del t at constant and then del t by del t at constant pressure so we have to just take the differentiation del s by del t and then del v by del t at constant this will come out to be 1 so we can write this as del s by del t cp is equal to del s by del t v plus del s by del v at constant temperature and del v by del t at constant pressure so we just have to multiply this equation number 4 multiply equation 4 with temperature on both sides so we get 
टी डेल एस बाई डेल टी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर दैन टी डेल एस बाई डेल टी एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्लस टी डेल एस बाई डेल वी एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर डेल वी बाय डेल टी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर दिस आर इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव सो वी कैन राइट दिस एस So this we can write as C P at constant pressure. This we can write as C V. So we can rewrite this term, this equation on the next page. So this is equation. So we can rewrite this as C P minus C V is equal to T del S by del V at constant temperature del V by del T at constant pressure. so we have to just eliminate s as we know we have to eliminate s because s is not readily measurable we cannot measure s so we just have to eliminate s using using maxwell equations so del s by del v t is del v t and then volume so we have to substitute this equation so we have to substitute this equation in this formula so this is cp minus cv t del p by del t at constant volume and then del v by del t at constant pressure this are equation number 6 six so moving on to next part so to replace this pair we are using the euler chain rule which is if we have any function of x y and z of the form this then we can write the differential the product of differentials that is del x by del y at constant z and del y by del z at constant x and del z by del x at constant y equal to minus 1 so we have our equation of this form x y and z so we have function of p v t equal to 0 similar equation that is equation number 6 which is a function of p v t so we can rewrite this as dp by del v at constant temperature and del v by del t at constant pressure and then del t by del p z at constant volume is equal to minus 1 so we have to keep these two terms that is del p by del t and del v by del t so we have to replace that del p by del t by v terms so we have to take this term to other side and we can rewrite this term as del p by del v at constant temperature del v by del t at constant pressure negative sign and then del p by del t at constant volume so we have to put this equation 7 in equation 6 so we get so we got this equation after solving after simplifying that so we have to find we have to prove at 4 degree celsius cp is equal to cv to prove so at particular temperature at a fixed temperature at 4 degree celsius we know that our density becomes maximum so it is we can not further compress it so that's why 
at a constant temperature that is 4 degree celsius they are del p by del v we cannot further compress it this differential at constant temperature that is 4 degree celsius that is the point where the density of water becomes maximum goes to zero that's why this term goes to zero we cannot further compress it that's why cp becomes equal to cv so we can see in this graph where this is a red plot is cp and this black plot is cv this is the temperature of 4 degrees celsius the line we can see here we can see the intersection it's like touching these two points are coinciding so cp becomes equal to cv at this particular temperature where the density becomes maximum so this is our proof if you have any doubt related to this question you can ask me in the comment box and thanks for watching this video